Hey guys, back at you here. This is Chet Womack from theprepperproject.com wanting to shoot a little bit of a test for you on this product right here. This is the Goal Zero Nomad. And what this is, is this is a device that is a solar panel that has on the back of it uh, the ability to plug in several different things so that you can charge them. So you can charge, uh, you can plug in a little USB drive here and you can use them to charge a set of, these are double A's, there's an adapter here to do triple A's, yada, yada, yada. I wanna know if it actually works and I wanna know how fast it can actually charge things. So it is a summer day here. It's starting to be cloudy in the middle of the morning, but I wanted to hook this sucker up to a dead cell phone to kind of replicate. Okay, boom. The power has gone out for some reason, whether that's intentional because you're in the woods and you lost it, or it's a worse type of a grid down situation. And man, I really want to get something back up and running. So I thought just a simple test everybody be able to understand is how long does it take to charge up a cell phone? So I simply take my USB charger and hook it up. And then the way this kind of works is it's got two zippers, kind of gives your cord a way out. I'm going to unfold this and point it at the morning sun, which is going to be over in that direction for me. And uh, I will hook this up. I'm probably not going to get a charge yet because it's cloudy, but I never know. Let's see. Okay, it did enough to register that something went in there, um, but it's at 0%. Could the camera see that? No, nope, couldn't see it. Okay, there. Can we see that? Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It's dead. <laughs> Trust me, I'm gonna make sure when I do this, I protect my phone from the sun so it doesn't fry the screen. And I will come back out and I will continue to rotate this panel as the sun moves and see what we get today. So I'll be back at you uh, in a few hours. What's the time right now? Oh, it's, it's gotta be about nine o'clock. So we'll come back here in a few hours and see what time it is and if we have any more battery charge. All right, we're back out here. It is now three o'clock. I think I said we started at nine, so that's 10, 11, 12, six hours now. And if I look, you won't be able to see because the screen's a little dark, but it is now 54% charged from 100% dead. And I have had to adjust this a couple of times, but it's a nice sunny day now. And it was a cloudier morning like you thought, like I you saw, not thought, in that earlier little clip. Um, but we'll see if we can get a full charge out of this uh, before that sun sets down. I might have to move it into a different location as I'm about to hit some trees and have this spot shaded here in a couple of hours. But for 54%, I mean, if your life was on the line, you need to make a call. That's, that's not bad for camping. Um, I'll have to do some more tests on like AA batteries and things in the future. But as far as emergency cell phones, uh, this is kind of a cool little deal because it can fold up. It's got a clip that you can just take a carabiner and just hold it on your backpack if you were hiking or you're bugging out and you know just point it in the direction of the sun it's enough to get a little bit of power so uh, I'll check back in with you uh, once we try to capture a hundred percent to see how long this takes and uh, we'll see how she does well back at you one more time here here at my kids trampoline uh, where I had to shift this uh, goal zero nomad to make sure that it saw the sun as it was setting at the end of the day and uh, what we have discovered is we have been able to get, basically it took almost a full day with full sun to get a full charge out of the cell phone, but we were able to do it. And so that's pretty cool. Uh, a day in summer sun can fully charge a cell phone is, is something that I think that, that would be very helpful for people. So um, if you want that kind of power, this is, this is great. And I also want to let you know that stay tuned because the next thing I want to do that the, the Goal Zero comes with is it comes with this ability to charge some double and triple A batteries. And so what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to see how long it takes for one of these devices, this Nomad, to charge a double A set of batteries. And I thought that might be something a little bit more important, especially if you're into the survival or preparedness space and, and wanting a little bit more power than just the ability to charge a cell phone, which in a grid down societal collapse might not really matter all that much. So uh, pretty cool. The Gold Zero Nomad, totally capable of charging a cell phone. It took about a day. Uh, and hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding about what this kind of unit's uh, capabilities of generating power really are. So 
Sun's going down. I'm calling it a day for today, guys, but hopefully that helps you evaluate this product if you are thinking about getting it. And stay tuned for the next update um, where we decide we, we do a test on how well it charges AA batteries. Stay tuned, and we'll talk soon, guys.